Okay, let's install a ProShot trigger into a 308 short. This is what's in the box. Using a 332nd wrench, remove the four scope mount screws. Make sure not to strip these. Next, using a 1 8 inch wrench, remove the two stock screws. Remove the stock from the mainframe. Using a 964th inch wrench, remove the two trigger attachment screws. You can now remove the trigger. Place your new ProShot trigger into the mainframe. Apply a small amount of blue thread locker to the trigger screw thread. Make sure not to get thread locker in the screw holes or you can damage the trigger. The 964th inch wrench will do the trick for installing the screws. Make sure to not over tighten the screws or you can strip the threads. Install the stock on the mainframe making sure not to damage the trigger arm. Put a little blue thread locker on the screws and tighten down with a 1 8 inch wrench. Reinstall your scope using a small amount of blue thread locker on the screw threads. Do not get any thread locker in the screw holes, you'll be contacting our fine people in custom service. 332nd inch wrench is what you need here. Okay, now let's test the trigger. With the safety in the fire position, confirm the latch closes using the latch. Pull the trigger to confirm the latch is releasing. Do the same procedure with the safety placed in the safe position. The latch should not move when the trigger is pulled. 